as Grand Rapid comes comes in with a record of six and fourteen overall, one and two during the regular season portion of the schedule. Delaware at two and one and ten and eleven overall. As we'll get to the starting lineups for Delaware. On the road, Mac McClung gets the start at the guard along with Charlie Brown Jr. Two forwards, Michael Foster Jr. and Julian Champagny as the three-point ball is missed by Lewis King. The last starter at the forward spot for Kobe Carl's blue coats and four of the gold. Three-guard rotation of Jared Butler, Chasen Randall, and Adonis Arms. Inside feed to Jack White, rejection. Jack White gets the start at forward, and Grant Golden gets the start at center. Looking for our first basket just underway here on this Tuesday from Van Andel Arena in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan. Now we got a whistle stepping on the sideline is Charlie Brown Jr. Our referees this evening, Jenna Renault, Claudia Mula, and Italo Arruyo. Three referee rotation all season long in the G League as the Grand Rapids Gold. A little shorthanded tonight. They lost two starters from the loss yesterday. Peyton Watson, the rookie out of UCLA, and the rookie Kellen Grady. Both went down with some injuries, but... As the backdoor pass is intercepted in Delaware on the run. Gold with Jack White just recalled from the Denver Nuggets. Three ball launch and Champagny, the leading score for Delaware, started the game yesterday with a three ball. Does so once again. Early 3 0 lead by the Blue Coats. Grand Rapids with the basketball. Grant Golden coming off that triple double last night in the loss. Stuck at the right elbow. Eight on the shot clock. Inside to Butler goes up with the double clutch and that one pongs out. Boy, Butler's had a tough slide the last two games. Just 10 points. He still averages 17 and change, but the shot has not gone down, and he missed the layup. Champagny, wheels far side elbow, picks up the dribble to King, the former Grand Rapids drive player back in 2019-2020. McClung circles out the three ball, and the rebound by Golden. Golden last night had 12 rebounds, 11 assists, and 26 points. The assist and the points are a career high is now a steal. And Charlie Brown with a two-handed flush. And it's all Delaware. Five-nothing early on. So Andre Miller in his first season as the head coach for Grand Rapids. Spent the first 10 or 11 games with a really depleted roster. And now the injury bug has hit the gold. Up going strong is Butler. That shot influenced by Michael Foster Jr. in a two-on-one break. And Brown with the easy deuce. Back-to-back. High percentage shots for Delaware. And it's 7 to nothing as Delaware averages 117 a game. They give up 120. That's second to last in the G League. But they can score points. Jack White, three ball, count it! Jack White, six of his last 11 from the three-point line. And Grand Rapids needed that as a wayward pass is saved by Brown Jr. And King takes it over the timeline. Good to see Jack White back. From Australia, played his college basketball at Duke McClung in the lane. And I'll tell you what, Mac McClung, one of the most aggressive guards in the G League, lives in the lane. We saw several really fantastic plays down low on that little floater from eight feet. Gives Delaware a six-point lead. Shot off the mark, rebound on the weak side, King on the run. Delaware four of six early on shooting. Michael Foster with the Euro step, tough angle, and he... Knocks it down with the right hand. His first basket. Gold shooting just one of five. They had a tough slog yesterday. Four of 25 from three. And that was really the difference in the basketball game. They shot about the same as Delaware. As Randall goes down low. Misses the layup. Another miss, miss layup. Third time is rejected as Randall tries to save it with 11 on the shot clock. And that shot by White is rejected. Out to Golden. Triple try. Yes. Double G for three. Boy, when you're hot, you're hot. Golden averaging 21 points a game as last three. Now working low post is Brown. Turnaround. Flip shot by 10. No good. And a lob. Fast break pass from Golden inside the arms of the double clutch. Might have got away with a foul. Did Foster Jr. No call. And the Blue Coats on the run, leading by five. King lines up a triple try far side off the side iron. Good positioning by Golden, but up and over on the reverse layup finished by Michael Foster. And it's 13 to 6. Bench was huge last night for Grand Rapids in the loss. 51 points today. Grand Rapids had an early 5-2 lead, but then a 17-6 run by the Blue Coats. 
Gave them a big lead in the first half, and they never looked back, even though Grand Rapids closed it to two in the second half. But Delaware broke it open with 59% shooting in that second half as White tries to take it to the rack. Mid-post spin up with the left hand. Big time move by White. White will give you 17 and 9 rebounds a game, and a big basket by White. Give him five. Gold are going to need him tonight as they lost two starters like we mentioned, and now a foul in the backcourt. I stand corrected. They're going to reset. They're going to take it out on the near side. McClung, veteran out of Texas Tech, spent last season with Windy City and South Bay. Averaged over 20 points a game. Now he's with Delaware. Push pass in the corner. That one skirts off weak side. Rebound by Adonis Arms, making his ninth start of the year. And for Arms, he averages 11 points a game, but almost 17 as a starter. Right elbow. Golden out to Arms. Three ball. Bingo. Arms struggling from the three-point line on the season, 26%. But Grand Rapids shooting well from three. Three of four to start this game. As Skylar Mays looks to check in for Delaware. He was great off the bench, as well as Justin Smith, the veteran out of Arkansas. Smith had a nice game, to say the least. 18 points and 13 rebounds in only 24 minutes for the Bluecoats. 6.36 remaining here in Grand Rapids in the first quarter. Arms will look to inbound as the referee's talking things over right on the North Point Bank logo at midcourt. Grand Rapids 3-7 and seven at home. Delaware 4-6 of six on the road. But a nice road win streak like we mentioned. Double clutch by Arms. No, we have contact. And the first foul of the game comes almost six minutes into the contest. Foul will be on Skylar Mays, his first, team's first. Mays, one of six players on Kobe Carl's Blue Coach team that has NBA experience. 61 games with Atlanta. He was drafted by them as Butler at the line. This is the free throw. Free throws were not kind to Grand Rapids last night in the loss, just 10 of 16. And this is a good free throw shooting team as Butler, 0 for 3 from the field. He struggled early on. Weave on the give to Champagny, working off the screen. Inside to Smith, he decides to keep it, and that one pongs off. And Arms, check that Butler, cleans up the rebound for Grand Rapids. Stutter step on the lane, inside feed to the big, and Grant Golden converts. Butler gives you over five assists a game, and Golden with a nice basket. Five for GG. King, baseline, step back, rainbow 12-footer no, and comes storming in Jared Butler. As he steps out of bounds, you cannot fault the effort. Here's Manny Camper for Jack White. Good minutes by Jack White. Freshly back from the Denver Nuggets, the NBA affiliate team of the Grand Rapids Gold. They mimic their colors, and they also run the same offense and the inbound plays and the defensive strategies, as do many of the G League clubs with their NBA parent clubs. Champagne with the move up. And Camper with a good D might have got away with a hack as Mays tries to follow, and he does from 13. Skylar Mays with the basket, 7 of 15 for Delaware early on. Grand Rapids not shooting well, just 36%, but they've hit three of their first four threes. Inside, baby hook, Grant Golden. Boy, oh boy, he has really developed in the first 20 games into something special for Grand Rapids. The rookie out of Richmond, 15 to 15, our score. Gold's biggest deficit was seven at 13 to six, and they've gone on a nine to two run. And now we got a palming of the basketball. I don't think we've seen that since the Reagan administration. We don't see that too often. Bryce Wills checks in. Adonis Arms checks out for Bryce Wills, the veteran out of Stanford. Jared Brownridge looks to check in for the Blue Coats. Patrick McCaw and Braxton Key, newly acquired. As Butler runs the offense. Hesitation move, tried to skip it inside to Golden. Off the fingertips of Golden and the turnover by the Gold King on the run. Check that Brown Jr. on the run. Can't get the puppy. Cleared by Chasen Randall, making his first start in a gold uniform. The NBA veteran over to Golden. Free throw line extended. Butler step back, three ball short as it skirts off and the weak side board 
by Mays. Delaware on the run. Delaware shoots a lot of field goal attempts. Top five in the league as Mays goes up. Cross-court pass. Three ball launch and filling that one to Champagny. He's got the most three-pointers of any player on the Blue Coats coming in, shooting 35%. Champagny was six, both via the three ball. That breaks the 15-15 deadlock. Rainbow triple, Randall. Too much mustard in Champagny with his second carom. Baseline, Brown Jr., good look inside, and a nice finish. Smith converts on a nice dish. 29 assists helped Delaware last night in the 18-point victory right here at Van Andel. And a nice little five-point run. As that one baseline, Grant Golden with another strong start. Nine points on four of four shooting coming off that triple-double yesterday. Grand Rapids only scores 107. That's 28th out of 30 teams in the league, and they give up 114. But the defense has been pretty stout the last 10 or 12 games as King with the floater in the lane. Four for King. He and Seiko Dumbuye on this Blue Coats roster. Ex Grand Rapids drive players from back in 1920. Butler for three. That one circles out. Boy, Butler, he just can't buy a basket. He's a tremendous shooter. High off the backboard and in is Champagny with the layup. Delaware's hit their last four shots, now hitting 55% on the night. Grand Rapids at 37%. Butler, push shot, no. Tip in, try Manny Camper. Johnny on the spot for the deuce. Camper's first basket. Stems the run by the Blue Coats. Now we got a timeout. We'll take a timeout. This fast moving first. Delaware will inbound as Braxton Key on the far side. Started the season with Motor City, put up some good numbers. 17 points and eight rebounds. Good addition to the Blue Coats. Blue Coats have made the NBA an NBA. Well, be nice. The G League Finals, the last two seasons, they lost in the finals to Rio Grande Valley and Lakeland the year before as Trevon Duval in the game from Duke with the give and go. Got the steal and the feed and the putback. And a chance for an old school three point play as the foul is on Delaware. That foul will be on Brownridge, his first. And a chance for, check that, that was Wills, not Duvall. Duvall got the steals, and Wills got the basket. So Bryce Wills. With the free throw, that's short. 0 for 2 from the line for Grand Rapids. They trail by 3, not shooting well, but staying in the game. Right elbow, Mace picks up the dribble. Jack White back in all over him defensively for the gold. Now working baseline is Smith for the two-handed finish up and over Wills. He was a menace last night, especially in the second half. Just dominated the paint as Delaware shot 59% in that second half as they won 125 to 107. Gold down five. Like we always say, no lead is too much and no deficit is insurmountable. Now we got contact down low in the baseline. Another Delaware foul. Foul will be on Patrick McCaw, the 27-year-old out of UNLV. Former second-round pick of Milwaukee back in 2016. Here's Chase and Randall at the line. Boy, he had a stretch a few games ago. 36 points off the bench as a free throw goes down. One is good for two. Before last night's six-point performance, he was averaging 21 off the bench in the previous four games. Here's Brownridge, mid-range. Pongs off the back end, and Randall with the rebound. 12 and a half points in 22 minutes of action. The Euro step in the lane, good look short, and fielded on the run. Feed pass down to Smith and another slam. And Delaware using the fast break to perfection. And they have taken away Grand Rapids' ability for the fast break. That's what Grand Rapids likes to do. We saw that last night. Delaware very effective. And they've won it with some defense as they won five of six. In that stretch, they've won by giving up six less points per game in that five of six game stretch as Duvall... Picks up his miss and puts it back in. Duvall with two. He had 12 last night in the loss. Five of eight shooting. He gets the high percentage layup. 
Gold down by three, stopping, popping, and missing off the side iron, and White with the rebound. His third of the day. Jack White. We got two Duke Blue Devils on the floor for the goal. Duval and White. Turnover. Delaware in transition. Euro step and shot rejected from the far side. Bryce Wills with the well timed swat into the end zone. It'll stay with the Blue Coats with 26.9 seconds remaining and plenty of time with 18 on the clock to shoot. Extended mid post. Now Mays takes it out. Works it near side. Smith kicks it out to Braxton Key. Had some time last year with the Pistons as that shot falls short. Rebound, 11 seconds remaining. Here's White with Mays on him. Awkward layup tries. That one circles the drain and fielded by Mays. Just enough of a disruption. Mays defensively kicking the corner. The call for three at the buzzer, and he fills it in front of his bench. And he gets the inbound to start the second quarter. The gold playing shorthanded tonight. Without two starters, Kellen Grady and Peyton Watson, but Jack White back from the Denver Nuggets. Here's Duvall, wheels baseline, double clutch off the window. Nice basket by Duvall. Four for him. Grand Rapids shot 39% in the first quarter, three of seven for 43% from the three-point line. Delaware a little better, 50% overall, three of eight from deep. Brownridge inside to Foster Jr. Dunk is rejected by White. As that one will stay with the Blue Coats. Delaware, the G League affiliate team of the Philadelphia 76ers. Quick release, Brownridge, baseline, count it. Brownridge, the all time franchise leader in points, games, and three pointers in his sixth season with Delaware. White, rainbow triple, too strong. He had him on earlier. Big carom by McCaw, who closed out the first quarter with that three ball. Delaware up by six. Good look inside is key. Contact down low. Not muscled in, but he hit the shot. Grand Rapids got away with a foul. Blue Coats dominated in the paint last night, but so far in, in this game, they're up 22 to 14, and that department is hitting the deck as Duval with the drive. He's been aggressive tonight. Foul will be on Foster Jr., his first been a clean game as far as personals go. And that will send Duvall to the line. Trayvon Duvall on the season, just 11 of 21. Historically in his career, he shot much better than that as that free throw goes down. So he's got two. Give Duvall six. 35-29, Cole shadowing Brownridge. Thought about the 18-foot step back as they work at mid-post far side. Try to go cross-court. Good hands by Wills defensively with nine to shoot. Taking it out near side is McClung. 26 points last night. His second best effort of the season. He had 44 against the 905 in mid-November. Brownridge for three. That one Bangs off the front iron. And Wills with the rebound. Duvall working baseline. And we got a blocking foul on Delaware. And Brownridge not so convinced it was on him, but it is. Second for him. He's the only player with more than one foul in this game with 10.27 to play until halftime. Not a shooting foul. Second team foul of the quarter. Grand Rapids has committed just one foul in this game. That's Jared Butler. Speaking of, Butler back in the game. And Duvall is getting up very slowly and favoring that left leg as he's helped off by his teammates, something that the gold can ill afford at any time, but especially now, down two starters with the loss of Grady and Watson last night. Cole in the corner. Step back, 15-footer, bangs one home. Norris Cole is first basket. McClung loses his balance, tried to pass it behind him and intercepted by Butler. And here come the gold. Deep in the backcourt, over to Golden. Push past far side, Jack White for the triple. Good look, no go. Keeping it alive is Butler, the hustle by Butler. Step back, rainbow, there we go. 
JB for three. That hopefully will get him off the schneid. Tough night last night. 0 of 9 from the field, 0 of 4 from the three-point line. And the goal down by one. Braxton Key from 17. And Golden with a strong side board, his third of the night. And the fans starting to get into it as White takes it to the rack. And one as White goes in strong. And the Gold have taken their first lead of the basketball game. Foul on Foster Jr., his second. Team's third as Jack White will go to the stripe. 82% on the year, 18 of 22. This is a young man who averaged three points and three rebounds with Duke in his career as he knocks down the three-pointer, the old-school three. Give White nine. But then he has blossomed into a two-way player. Played in nine games for Denver. Limited action, but still modest numbers in college. And he's really turned himself into a good professional basketball player on the miss. Gold with the advantage. Near side, three ball, yes! JB is second straight three ball. And a will inbound, and Cole will greet McClung three quarters deep. As Delaware at home the next couple games against Greensboro on Friday and Sunday. As the feed inside to Foster Jr., good look. The 10th batsman for the basketball far side, and he gets it on the shovel pass. Works baseline, got a step on, on Friday and Sunday. As the feed inside to Foster Jr., good look. The 10th batsman for the basketball far side, and he gets it on the shovel pass. Works baseline, got a step on White. Step back, 17-footer, too strong as it rims off, and Cole with the one-bounce rebound. Sometimes it's all about shooting. And Grand Rapids now shooting 44%. They were as hot as anyone shooting as Cole tries it from 15. No good. Followed through by White. Averaging almost four offensive rebounds a game. And the putback is good. White with 10. He's in double figures. The first of anybody in this game. Braxton Key for three. As that one skims off the front iron. And the goal trying to extend their biggest lead of the night. 42-37. Backdoor feet inside to Wills for the finish. One hand slam from Golden. That fires up the crowd here at Van Andel. 44 37, biggest lead of the night for Grand Rapids. Bronridge from deep downtown. That one well short, fielded by Wills over the timeline. Wills with four points and a couple boards off the bench. That one tipped out of bounds. It'll stay. By way of Grand Rapids' is camper and arms back in. White gets a breather at the 7.26 mark. Andre Miller looking over his troops. First year head coach for Grand Rapids. How about this for a stat? He's the only player in NBA history with 16,000 or more points, 8,000 or more steals. Uh, check that, 8,000 or more assists, 1,500 steals, and never made an all-star team. Played 17 years and only missed three games. Butler down low. He's going to the line on a Delaware foul. I found that stat very, very interesting. Let's see what they call that one on. I believe that is on Foster Jr. If that's the case, he's halfway to a permanent seat and he'll take a breather with three fouls. Oh, he's going to stay in. Free throw was good. Butler, one is good for two. Give Butler eight. And he's coming alive offensively at a good moment. Biggest lead by the Golden, 46-37. It's been a 17-point swing for Grand Rapids. Playing very dispirited shorthanded. They play hard. Their 6-15 and 15 record don't indicate that, but they play very hard. They get a nice mix of youth and experience. Is taking it strong as Brown Jr. Six for Brown. He was tremendous yesterday. A double-double, 21 points. 10 rebounds and 5 of 7 for 3. He's averaged 15 and change in his 4 G League season as Brown Jr. There's a two-handed direct deposit by Adonis Arms. Baseline jam. Back to 9 for the gold. And a Brown Jr. responds with a quick basket. Butler with Brown Jr. on him, double teamed in the backcourt. Here's Golden with Foster Jr. on him. Seven to shoot. 
Golden wheels down low. Baby hook with the right hand. No. Offensive rebound by Camper. Inside to Golden. The push shot. Saw him working that in the pregame. And his second push shot. Pongs and falls for Golden. 11 for him. Four rebounds and three assists. Talked about that triple-double yesterday for him. The rookie out of Richmond. McClung wheels. No look in the corner baseline. And now McClung fires up a triple in that one. Finds net. Pass and shot inside. No good. Saved by Golden. 13 to shoot for the gold. Up by five. Their biggest lead was nine. Seven seconds. And losing the handle down low his arms. It'll be a turnover for the gold. Fast moving game and fast action as Foster Jr. out. Mays back in for Delaware. McClung gets a breather. And uh, Justin Smith back in. Six turnovers for Grand Rapids, four for Delaware. They had a season low 12 turnovers in the win last night right here at Van Andel. Chasing Randall back in for Grand Rapids. Stanford veteran. Inside feed to Smith and another dunk and a pretty feed by Lewis King. And the nine point lead for Grand Rapids. They shrunk to three with 5.05 left in the half. Arms wheels off the golden screen. Fights his way baseline. Tried to feed Camper inside. Juggled up a got his back. Wide open three ball. Grant Golden. Short to the right. And King on the move. Boy, leaner away from the basket from 12. That's a tough shot. He knocks it down. Four for King. As the ball tipped out of bounds, and just like that, it's a one-point lead for the gold. Second quarter, 52% in this, just in the second quarter. Grand Rapids 44% overall to 51% for Delaware. The only other game going on at the moment of the other four scheduled tonight, Cleveland with a deficit of nine points against Westchester in New York tonight. That was the only other 7 p.m. start. And now we've got a technical foul, a defensive technical foul by Manny Camper, camping in the lane. I'll check that. That is on Delaware, excuse me, Justin Smith, the other three for Delaware as Randall with the free throw. Five for seven on the night for, check that, uh, yes, five for seven on the night for Grand Rapids. They extend the lead to 51-49 and they get possession. Grand Rapids was down early. Arms finishes. Baseline. Thumper. Had a little bit of attitude on that one. Seven for Arms. Averaging almost 17 as a starter. And he's making the most of his ninth start of the season. The rookie out of Texas Tech. He checks Mays in the backcourt. Grand Rapids clinging to a four-point lead. Floater in the key. Tip in down low. I think... I think that was Brown Jr., and it was. Brown with 11. GR up by two. Crossover Randall. Trying to steal that one is Brown Jr. Loose basketball poked inside to Butler from Randall. Inside feed to Golden. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. And Golden with lucky 13 on the night. Extends the lead to four. Foul in the backcourt. Butler, the culprit, his first malfeasance of the night. Boy, Grant Golden in his last six games, averaging almost 17, over eight rebounds, shooting 58% from the field and almost seven assists a game. Really patterns being a, you know under the Denver Nuggets affiliation of the offense they run with Nikola Jovic. And he's kind of the wheel in that offense. And it showed with the triple-double last night. Three-ball launch. Good look short. And a big swat down by Arms. And he hauls that one down. Now backs it up and starts the offense with the gold up by four. 3-12 left in the first half. Golden comes out deep. Free throw line extended with Smith on him. Backdoor feed into Duvall. He tried to gear up for a slam. And he got the ball knocked out of his hands. It's going to be a Blue Coats foul. Their fifth in this quarter. And we'll send Duvall to the line. Number 
Decent bench play by Grand Rapids so far with two starters down. 14 bench points. And Duvall knocks down the free throw. Give him eight. Make it 16 bench points of the 57. Good first half for Grand Rapids. Trying to win their fourth home game of the season. They've been on their best stretch of the season. Even though they've lost two straight, they've won four of their last seven in their 6-15 and 15 record. They've done some good things, especially at the Las Vegas showcase. Nice transition basket as Arms on the feed from Butler. Butler's got five assists, and Arms has 11 points. Now a gold foul in the backcourt by Arms. First for Arms. Second team foul, not a shooting foul, so Mays will trigger near side with 2.35 left in the first half. Brown Jr. between the circles. He's got Duvall on him. Duvall, he's playing more minutes off the bench. Didn't play a ton early on, the veteran, as Duvall comes up with the rebound. And now we've got a foul in the backcourt on Lewis King. First on King, the two-way player for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now we'll send the goal to the line. As Kobe Carl talks to the referees right in front of us on that foul on the other end by King. King was undrafted out of Oregon and uh, played with four teams in the G League besides Delaware. As a free throw goes down by Duvall, he's got 10 off the bench. Joins white and golden in double figures. And the gold with their biggest lead at 61 to 51. Stopping, popping, and hitting is Mays. Skyler Mays with his first basket of the night. And that stems the Blue Coats bleeding. Long triple. Duval for three. He's got that unique shooting stroke, but it works. And he drops down the triple. He had 12 last night. He's got 13 in this one. Foul on the gold. Camper. Manny Camper, he was the conference player of the year when he played basketball for Siena. And he picks up his first foul. Fourth team foul for the gold with 150 remaining in the second quarter here in Grand Rapids. Happy to have you along in this Tuesday. Happy 2023 as Champagne misses a three-pointer. And Arms with another rebound. He's been busy in that department three in the last four minutes. Arms takes it to the rack. Shot is rejected by Smith. Boy, Justin Smith, he is a nemesis down low. He's been in double figures, rebounding three of his last four. Baseline, Duval wheels, tries to feed Camper streaking, lost the handle, but cleaning up the mass is Duval with 15 now to lead the gold in the biggest lead at 66-53. Big second quarter for Grand Rapids. 41 points so far in this second quarter. So the foul will be on Chase and Randall as Camper takes a rest at the 111 mark. Golden back in. Andre Miller looking for some explanation. The head coach in his first season with Grand Rapids. Randall wants explanation as well in front of us as Klaji Mula, the referee, explaining that to him as a free throw by Mays. One will give you two points, 66-55 gold, but a tr tremendous second quarter with just over a minute left in this first half. Duvall, feeling it, goes up. Leaner, that one dances and hovers and can't go down. First miss of the night from the field for Duvall. As King in traffic, push out with the right hand, no. Tip in try by Brown Jr. Thought it might have been a goaltending. But they're going to count the basket. Brown with 13. Weak side tip in by Brown. As the Blue Coats, Blue Coats looking for a strong finish to this second 12 minutes of action. Wheeling is Duvall from Golden. Trying to Wrap around, pass around Smith, but Smith knocked it out of bounds for the Blue Coats. 
Grand Rapids in the second game of a five-game homestand. They'll play Fort Wayne on Thursday here at Van Andel. Ten to shoot. Jack White back in the game. Three ball. Deep downtown. Good look off the side rim. White with ten along with four rebounds in the first half. 27 seconds remaining. Mays thought about the three but employs the runner from ten. Can't get it to go. Grand Rapids going to set up the last shot theoretically in this first half with 14 on the game clock. Shot clock is off. As Mays comes out deep on Duvall. Duvall leading everybody with 15 points. Skip pass inside the golden. Floater with the right hand. Can't get it to fall as the second one that is danced. And the running long ball at half court by Champagne brings us to halftime. Clock start and then Oklahoma City taking on Rio Grande Valley. Actually, that one has gone final. That was a day game. Oklahoma City with the victory over Rio Grande Valley. And we have a technical foul shot by Chase and Randall. Evidently, at the end of the first half, there was a technical foul called on Delaware. I'm not sure what the specifics were. But needless to say, the goal to get the basketball moving left to right in their road or their home blues in the second half, mimicking the colors of the Denver Nuggets. And Delaware in the white road uniforms, mimicking their colors of their parent club the Philadelphia 76ers. Butler with eight points in the first half. Just two of nine shooting, but a couple of those, a three-point ball. As that one trickles out of bounds, it'll stay with Grand Rapids with three and change on the shot clock. Good bench activity for the gold once again. 23 points off the bench. They had 51 last night in the loss as arms will trigger. Butler. Baseline got tied up by Brown Jr. Good defensive play by the Blue Coats on the run. McClung over the line with a quiet five points in the first half after torching the goal for 26 last night in the 125-107 win. Faking the pass and converting is Aminu Muhammad as he starts the second half. We did not see him yesterday. This is his first action in tonight's game. The Nigerian-born product of Georgetown University. And the miss by the gold is cleared by Foster Jr. Seven-point lead for the gold. Grand is looking for their first basket, but Delaware with the possession. No look inside to Foster Jr. Underneath the basket, double-teamed high up the window, and he creates enough space to knock it down. Two quick baskets by the Blue Coats. Right back in this. Three ball launch, Jared Butler. Nothing but net for JB. Three of seven for the long line. He's got 11. Four and double figures for the gold. Back up to an eight point margin. Thought about the step back, did McClung. Michael Foster Jr., the 20 year old, misses the shot, and that one tapped deep in the backcourt. Fresh shot clock for Delaware. 10 to shoot, McClung. Fakes the pass high off the window. How many times did we see that last night? He uses that glass so effectively, the running layup, and he places it about three, four feet off that window. That is hundreds, hundreds of hours of practice in the gym. McClung has seven to go along with four assists. Butler, step back, three ball, far side. Good look, no go, and the running rebound cleared by Muhammad. Three on two break. Delaware has the numbers inside to Foster Jr., and a good foul by Jared Butler. Prevents the basket, and that'll send Foster Jr. to the line. But for Butler, that is his third malfeasance. And the first of the second half for Grand Rapids. Just one free throw in the first half by Delaware. And ten in the first half by Grand Rapids. Blue Coats took care of business from the line last night. Ten of eleven from the line. 91% in the win. As a free throw is good by Foster. He's got 10, two in double figures for Delaware. Delaware trying to win their sixth game in seven tries and their third straight. Golden left elbow coming out to receive that pass as Butler on the golden screen. Got the ball stolen like a cat burglar by McClung goes in. He lost the handle and the rejection down low by the gold with 16 to shoot. White comes out deep on the 6-2 guard, McClung. Inside Muhammad with the finish. And Andre Miller, what's the time? And how about Muhammad? Why did we not see him yesterday? Fresh off the bench, shooting to start the third quarter for Delaware. Part of a 10-3 run, and then right back in this game, trailing by two. They were down by 13, were the Blue Coats, late in that second quarter. 
Grand Rapids was down by eight in the first quarter. As the Butler and the Gold offense go to work, Jason Randall back in the game for Grand Rapids after the timeout. Works near side mid post, high up the window. No, and the weak side rebound by Mohammed. Quickly over to Champagny, the leading three point shooter on this team. Mohammed, no look in the corner. Brown for three, hits the side of the backboard and cleared by Butler, his fifth rebound. White, three ball. Corner pocket, far side. JW with his second triple. 13 for him. He's a good, good three point shooter. Something he didn't employ in college at all. And the development league, the G League. And they get a lot of work on those things, and White's hard work has paid off. He's turned himself into a fine, fine offensive threat. McClung deep downtown. He uses the window. He wanted a foul, but McClung uses the backboard. You have to call those games, those types of shots when you're playing horse. Butler trying to respond with a three as that one skirts off the front iron. The gold cling to a tenuous two-point lead. As McClung after that three with ten points. Three and double figures for Delaware. Brown Jr. with another strong game. Over to Champagny. Works between the circles on the weave. McClung trying to knock down his second triple and he does. We saw good shooting last night from Delaware from three. 16 made three balls. They've hit 30 in their last two games coming in. Shooting 40% from deep last night as Butler picks up the dribble. And now gives to Arms. Looking for his first points in the second half. Three ball launch off the mark by Arms, and we got a reach in foul on Jack White in the backcourt. Cannot fault the aggressiveness of White. Nobody has more offensive rebounds on his team than Jack White. On a team that really has struggled rebounding from the offensive standpoint, 27th out of 30th, averaging just nine offensive rebounds a game. Here come the Blue Coats, eighth in the league at 117 points a game as Muhammad goes up and off the window. And Muhammad with six points. All in this second half in five minutes of work. Randall loses his defender. Open look three ball. That one circles out. Tip back try by White. Golden was in the mix too. Can't get it to go down. Two tries. Nothing to show for it as Foster takes it to the rim. And he's going to the line on the Grand Rapids foul on the reach in. Foul on Bryce Wills. First for Wills, third team foul in the third quarter. Foster Jr. Foster Jr. grew up in Milwaukee and never attended college. He was drafted by the G League Unite team, a la Unite team last year, Ignite team, excuse me, and averaged 15 in his first year of professional basketball. As Wills tried to save it, but into the arms of the Delaware Garden McClung quickly to Champagne, and that is insult to injury. The hustle by Grand Rapids with two defenders not being able to get back in time, and Champagne with his third triple of the game give him 11 for the five starters for Delaware in double figures. And the Blue Coats came storming back with their biggest lead of the second half, 78 72. And here they are on the run. Faking the pass as Foster Jr. Wills baseline. Good cutoff by Golden. Battle of the bigs down low. Good steal, Wills. Grand Rapids in transition. White with a layup. That's what Grand Rapids likes to do. As the fast break works effectively. Just their second fast break basket of the day. And that stems the bleeding momentarily as Grand Rapids down by four. Eurostep, Foster with the lean. No. And a chance to make it up at the free throw line. Foul on Golden. First on Grant Golden. And Foster Jr. at the line. Michael Foster Jr. just 20 years old. And shooting 66% from the free throw line. As a team, Delaware... 20th out of 30 teams in the G League at 73%. And Foster drops down one, we're two. 12 for Foster. Foster coming off a 9.5 rebound performance last night in the victory. 
It's back to a six-point lead for Delaware on the road, trying to win their fourth straight road game. Duvall, just four points off his season high with 15 first-half points. Look inside to White for the easy finish. Jack White with easy basket on the feed from Duvall. Three ball, front iron, no. Grand Rapids on the run, trailing his camper with the seam, goes up, has his shot rejected. Muhammad with the rejection and comes up with the loose basketball. Great defense by Delaware. Corner pocket, three ball, yes. Champagne, his second straight triple. 5.03 left in the third. And it's 83-76 Delaware. After Grand Rapids' big second quarter, Delaware responds with a big third quarter of their own. And a two-handed finish by Jared Butler. Timeout, Kobe Carr. 83-78, back to live action. Skyler Mays back in for Delaware. I've shot 9 of 13 in this second half. And have taken the lead back. Champagne with the leaner on the three. Chasing down that one is Duvall, and he stepped on the sideline. Tough break, good hustle by Duvall. The veteran out of Duke. Grand Rapids on the night shooting 44%. Delaware shooting 51. Eight three-pointers for Grand Rapids. Nine for the Blue Coats. Grand Rapids shooting much better from three tonight. They've shot just 22% from three-point land in the first three games of the regular season. Three-ball launch. Champagne misses everything out of bounds. Interesting guy, dichotomy, though, for Grand Rapids, shooting just 22% in the last three games from three-point land, but 55% on two-point field goals. Butler, no look in the corner. Camper saves it from going out with 11 to shoot. Camper reverses direction, double team down low. Great ball motion by Grand Rapids. Four to shoot. Wills takes it to the rack. Two-handed layup. You don't see that too often. Bang, bang off the window. And Wills with a Thor tie. Eight for Bryce Wills off the bench. Leaner baseline and going sprawling is Mays. But he's going to the charity stripe on the Grand Rapids foul. And that will be on Butler. And if that's the case, that is his fourth. He's the only player with more than two fouls. Check that. Michael Foster Jr. has three for Delaware. But Butler with four. And Champagne gets a breather. Brownridge back in the game at the 3.53 mark. And a chance for Mays to increase the three-point lead. It's been a dandy here in Grand Rapids. Free throw is good by Mays. One word, two. Except in the last two minutes. Two-point shooting foul. You shoot both free throws. And same for a three-point shooting foul in the last two minutes. Three-ball launch. Check that. Duval for two. Thought he might have had a three-ball. But 17 for him nonetheless. Two off his season high. And it's a two-point lead. Check that three-point lead for the Blue Coats. Braxton Key back in the basketball game. Works it into Mays. Leans, tries to draw contact. Tip and try by Key. No, but the reverse layup is up and good. Braxton Key, the product of Virginia. Start of the season with Motor City as the shot missed short. Just over three minutes left in the third here at Van Andel. And we got a timeout. Kobe Carl. In his sixth year of a head coach, took some contact to to the eye, and he'll sit as McClung back in the game. And Justin Smith enters the basketball game at the 3.02 mark. Delaware with the possession, leading by five. 19-footer off the mark. Key misses, and the rebound by Duvall, who's done it all today. Five of seven shooting, four rebounds, 17 points. One of his better games. And he has carried the bench scoring. Both teams have had considerable leads. Duvall. Leaner. Can't get it to fall. Good look. In traffic. And the Blue Coats on the run. He tries to rifle it in the corner. And it's going the other way. Norris Cole checked in for Grand Rapids. Intended for Brownridge in that far corner. Gold shooting 44%. And Delaware just over 49% on the night. 
Back court to Vall, cross court to Wills. Spin move inside, push with the right hand and the finish. Got the membership bounce. Good look, good finish. Eight for Wills off the bench. 29 bench points for the gold. More importantly, just down by three. Three ball by Key, too strong. And a big rebound, picks up his miss. Trailing is McClung. Kind of hovers around that left elbow and brings it out with six to shoot. Looking for a screen and he gets it. McClung, shot rejected by Wills off the end line as McClung goes flying and 2.2 seconds remaining on the shot clock and a wonderful defensive play as we look at the replay. Great timing by Wills. Inbound, Brownridge, quick release. All over him is Duvall. Good defense by the gold. They can tie it up to the three with a buck 38 remaining in the third quarter. Cole, three ball, top side. Can't get it to go down. Offensive rebound for the goal. Another try to three, no good. And McClung taps it to his teammate Key for Delaware. Gold had a couple good looks, just couldn't come away with anything. Good backdoor feed inside. As Smith tries to finish, he cannot. And the weak side carry by Golden. Give him seven in the rebound department. Just over his season average. Now a turnover. Smith going the other way and Duvall with the hack with a buck one remaining in the third quarter. First down Duvall. And that will send Justin Smith to the line. The 24-year-old out of Arkansas. He was with the 905 last year. He was acquired in a trade in October. And he gives them some really good rebounding and some presence down low. The 6'7 veteran knocks down the free throw. 10 off the bench for Smith. Inside a minute left. Speaking of, Smith with three steals in this game too. So that just shows you his defensive prowess. Over to Camper on the weave, far side. Tried to feed Golden. Good defense on the denial by Justin Smith. The razzle and the dazzle by Duvall. And he hits the shot. As he hits that padding on the baseline, on the base, excuse me, of the basket. And a chance for an old school three as Duvall with a beautiful move down low. If Duvall can knock this down, this would give him a season high. He had eight, he had 19 against Cleveland in mid November, and he knocks it down, give him 20. And now we got a technical foul on the Delaware bench. And I think it was on uh, Brown Jr. We can, unless he stood up for the team. So Norris Cole, in any event, will go to the free throw line and knock down the free throw. Cole shooting 67% from the free throw line. Doesn't get to the line much. As the free throw is up, and that one skirts off. 8 of 12 on the night for Grand Rapids from the free throw line. Trailing by two, Blue Coats with the basketball. Full shot clock and 46 seconds left in the third. Now Cole trying to disrupt a little bit in the backcourt. As Key takes it over the timeline. Been a nice acquisition by Delaware. 17 points with Motor City in 13 games to start the season. Key for three. And that one circles the drain and falls. His first triple of the night. Seven off the bench. 31. Check that. 37 bench points for Delaware. They had 37 last night in the win. 25 seconds remaining in the third. 15 on the shot clock. And a five-point lead for Delaware. Duvall just spreading out the offense. He's been the hot hand. Working his way in the land of the Giants. Kicks it out to Wills for three. That one circles off. Grant Golden with the putback. And we got a goaltending call. I think Key came out of nowhere to try and reject that. But they're going to give Golden the bucket. His first basket in the second half. Three-point lead with six seconds remaining in the third. McCaw over to McClung. Three balled in the third. No. Had a good look. Three quarters in the books. Downtown, and they were known as the Grand Rapids Drive the last few seasons before that. Had over 2,000 last night. 
to watch Delaware win their third straight road game and trying to do it again. Bounce pass inside to Smith. Hauls up her prayer. Can't get it to go. And the foul on Golden. Second on Golden in the opening seconds of this fourth quarter. GR shooting 45% overall. 8 of 25 for 32% in the ball game. And Delaware 47%. They've made 10 out of their 26 three-point tries for 39% as Smith at the line. 10 points for him. He had a double-double last night. Misses the free throw. 5 of 7 from the line for Delaware in this one. Norris Cole starting the fourth quarter for GR as the gold playing without two starters. Peyton Watson and Kellen Grady out with unspecified injuries, but Kellen Grady had a big wrap-up with his non-shooting left hand. So I'm not sure what the extent of the injury is, but taped up and not dressed. Duvall in the paint for 22 for him. Season high. He has kept Grand Rapids in this game in this second half. Gold trail by one. A lot of time remaining. Weave inside. Good look to Smith. Shook his man, Manny Camper, with easy deuce. We've been talking a lot about Trayvon Duvall. His career high in the G League, 26 points last April against the College Park. And he's flirting with that right now. Good running hook shot by Norris Cole and a little elbow grease by Skylar Mays on Cole. Two NBA veterans going at it. Mays trying to take it coast to coast. Had the ball stripped away by Cole in a veteran move. And GR on the run, trailing his wills. Trying to power down low. Reverse layup, count it. Beautiful move by Wills. Solid move by him. And the gold retake the lead. They were up by 13 late in the first half. They were down in the third and now responding. Mays trying the triple. No. So the gold up by one. So the gold playing hard. Trying to come back a couple times as Duvall takes it inside. Good defense by Smith. He's something else. He might make the all-defensive team. As the runner away, tip-in try by McCaw on the Braxton key miss. And back and forth we go. Third lead change of the day. And Norris Cole inside. Leaner falling away. Awkward shot. Good body control. He knocked it down off the window. Three straight lead changes in the last minute or so with 9.28 remaining. Key wheels off the screen. Hook pass to Brownridge. Trying to block that one is Duvall. That one too strong. Good tip by Norris Cole to try to keep that defensive rebound alive. They're going to peg Cole for the foul. A lot of championships on this gold roster. Jared Butler won a national championship with Baylor. And Norris Cole won two NBA rings with the Miami Heat. Pretty good pedigrees right there. As Jack White back in the basketball game. Jack White spent a considerable amount of time with Denver. And it's always interesting coming back when you go to the NBA. You don't get a lot of minutes. Maybe you lose a little bit of game fitness. And it takes a bit, a couple of games for the guys to get back into the groove. Because White can play a lot of minutes. And he's played 23 in this one. Not much in the second half, though. Mays, left elbow. No look down low. Push shot with the right hand. No. Offensive rebound. And a three ball launch by McCaw. Too strong. Fight for the rebound. One by Duvall. He is playing possessed today. Fantastic effort. Camper in the corner. Streaking his Duvall down low. Up with the left hand. Can't get it to drop. Good look. Boy, low turnovers for such a fast moving game as Smith tries to muscle down low and knowing a weak side rebound by Camper. Eight turnovers only by Delaware, 10 by Grand Rapids. Both these teams averaging 16 turnovers a game coming in. Eight and a half left. Cole, step back, 15 footer money. Timeout, Kobe. 8.30 remaining after a great third quarter by the Blue Coats when they outscored the gold 35-23. to 23. The gold will come back with 50% shooting in the second half, and now we've got a turnover by the Blue Coats, just their ninth of the night. 
as conversely Delaware shooting just 41% in the second half. Gold with a three-point lead, shooting 48% overall to 45 for the Blue Coats. Cole tried to feed inside, stolen away by Brownridge, the all-time franchise leader for Delaware in points, three-pointers in games. Back and forth to McClung as they swing it around near side. Good look inside. And the finish by Foster Jr. Has not played much since picking up three early fouls. There's a foul on Camper and a chance for the old school by Foster Jr. He's got 14. He joins four others in double figures. Five in double figures for Grand Rapids. This might come down to free throws. Gold with a one-point lead. Delaware 5 of 7 on the night. 8 of 12 for Grand Rapids. Blue Coat shot well last night from the free throw line. 10 of 11. Free throw is up by Foster. And that completes the three-point play. We get a tie ball game. 99 all. With a ton of time remaining here in Grand Rapids. Second of five straight home games for the gold. They'll be in action Thursday night against Fort Wayne. Is taking it to the rack as Duvall with a season-high 22. And points for Trayvon Duvall. 7-11 shooting. Five rebounds, four assists for the Duke product. Free throw is up, and that one is good. He is in the zone tonight. Make it 24 for Duvall. Two off his career high. And the gold take the lead back, 101-99. Shouts of defense here at the Van Andel. Last meeting of the regular season between these two squads. McClung dancing with the dribble. Works his way down to Muhammad. Tries a reverse layup. And into the arms of Bryce Wills. Trailing. Butler, three ball, too strong. White tried to keep it alive. And Camper picks up the loose mass. No look near side to Butler as GR sets the offense with seven to shoot. 7-11 on the game clock. Step back. Rainbow. Triple. Skirts off. Good look by Butler. Just two of nine. But those two three-pointers were vital to get GR back in the game in the first half. Steele on the tip away by Duvall. Taking it to the rack as Wills with the two-handed flush. Direct deposit. Four-point lead by the gold. They've won four of seven, their best streak of the year, but they have lost their last two. And now Muhammad wheels baseline as the Blue Coats work the offense. Here's Brownridge off the screen. Good give and go on the pick and roll as a puppy missed down low by Foster Jr. And Wills will settle things down for Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids trying to win their fourth home game of the year. Delaware four and six on the road, but they've won three straight away from home. And five of the last six. Three ball. Counted. Butler. It's maybe not how many you make at times. It's when you make them. And that increases the lead to seven. Seven point run. And that stifles the seven point run as Brownridge stems the tide for a moment. 106-102. The seven point Grand Rapids run after it was tied at 99. Between the circles, Butler with Muhammad on him. Butler will try it again. Good look. His foot was on the line. That wouldn't have been a made three-point, but he misses it short as McClung in the land of the Giants. Hook pass out deep. Plenty to shoot for Delaware. As Foster tries to muscle it in, and we've got contact down low. And that'll be on, ja ja to be on Jared Butler, his fifth. And the fourth team foul for the goal. Just one for the Blue Coats in this fourth quarter with 521 left. And that will send Foster Jr. to the line. Six of eight on the night for Delaware from the free throw line. That's 75% if you don't have a calculator. Foster 66% on the year coming in. And he's three for four from the line tonight. Grand Rapids down Eight points in the first half. They came storming back to lead by 13 in the second quarter, but a four-point run to close it to nine at half. And then Delaware with a 10-3 run early in the third quarter to take the lead back. And Grand Rapids has fought their way back as a free throw good, worth two for Foster Jr. He's got 17, one rebound away from a double-double. 106-104. 
five point run for Delaware after the seven point Grand Rapids run mid post Camper wants the basketball and he's got McClung on him floater from the lane baseline five footer good physical move by Camper up and over McClung Camper with six off the bench with seven rebounds and four assists. Nice balance for him off the bench. He's been important, especially in this second half. Four-point lead for Grand Rapids. Is Champagny back in the game? So is McCaw, who's got the basketball. Good balance from eight, and he gets the membership drop. Here we go. One shot, White. One shot, White. Gold up by two. Jason Randall, the NBA veteran. Of 119 big league games. Feeds it inside to White. Lost the handle. Turnover by Grand Rapids. The 12th of the night. Good feed inside to Charlie Brown Jr. In the air, in stride, and he lays it in with a reverse layup. And just like that, we are knotted up at 108. Timeout. It's kind of our thing. What if I'm new to eight? Grand Rapids to inbound. Four minutes remaining. Randall top of the key. Gold had a seven-point run, but Delaware has come storming back as that one circles out. Good look by Randall. White once again tried to keep that one alive. And Delaware can take the lead after being down by seven just a couple minutes ago. Now we got a whistle and a gold foul down low. Foul on Wills, the second for him. Both teams shooting about the same. 47% for Grand Rapids, 46 for Delaware. And a 73% free throw shooter at the line in Mac McClung. He leads the team in free throw attempts as Duvall will check out with 345 to play. Good effort by him. 24 points off the bench, a season high. And back in the basketball game is Butler. And the miss on the free throw. Just the second of the night for Delaware. And Grand Rapids can break the 108 deadlock with 332 remaining. Shuffle pass from White to Randall. Delaware giving up 114 a game, but they lost the man that time. Wills with a finish on the feed. Great look. And another great assist by Grand Rapids. Third in the league in assists per games. And trying to finish that is Smith on the two-handed jam. And we've got a Grand Rapids foul. And the gold clinging to a two-point lead. Don't see that too often, reversing the call. But it does happen. So both teams have challenged. And Grand Rapids won their challenge. Delaware did not. As Butler takes it over the timeline. 13 points for him. Veteran of 42 games with Utah last year. Butler, finger roll, right hand. Count it! Took it to the rack. 15 for Butler. More importantly, a little breathing space for the gold. 112-108. This game was at 99 all. Grand Rapids with a seven-point run. Delaware came back. And now GR with a little mini run. Brown Jr. over to Champagny for three. That one short. And a running rebound on the bounce by Wills who's been solid off the bench. Season high, 14 points and seven rebounds. The veteran out of Stanford. Butler backs it up with the dribble as the gold with nine to shoot. Gives it to Randall. No look outside to Butler, and we've got a blocking foul down low on McClung. That one was in that half circle down low, and it could have gone either way. It was very close, so McClung picks up just his first personal. Not a shooting foul. Second team foul for the Blue Coats. Five for the gold. So Delaware will be in the bonus from here on out. Deep in the backcourt is Butler. Plenty on the shot clock at 10. 214 showing in the game clock. Trying to do a pick and roll screen to White. As White looking for some purchase down low. Butler takes it up strong with the right hand of the leaner. No. And rebound by Brown Jr. Trailing is Champagny. Two minutes remaining. Tried to feed down low. He got back his knockback. Brown Jr. in the corner. My goodness. Five of seven last night from deep. And Brown hits another one. Just his second of the night. But it comes at a great time. As the Blue Coats trail by one. 
Boy, he loves that corner triple. Butler up with the right hand in the finish. Lost his man in the backcourt. Butler taking over. Two straight baskets by him for the gold and a three-point lead. 138 left. McCaw in the backcourt. The UNLV product feeds down low to Smith and an offensive foul on Smith. Standing his ground down low is Camper. And Kobe Carl, the head coach, with hands on head in front of us. So the offensive foul will put the possession in the hands of the gold with a three-point lead. Full shot clock and 124 left. Looking for their fifth win in eight games. Grand Rapids, they went 5-13 and 13 in the showcase. Step back. JB for three, no good. Jack White with the offensive rebound. Went up and over McCaw. Fresh 14. White in traffic, kicks it out top of the key. Butler once again for three, yes! From Jack White, laser beam triple. Six-point lead for Grand Rapids. Trailing. Brown Jr., no. And the rebound with 54 seconds remaining and a two-possession lead for Grand Rapids. And now it might come down. Well, check that. No foul, but a steal by Delaware and a two-on-one break. And that one's stolen back by Grand Rapids and a whistle and a timeout by the goal. They have two timeouts to burn. Three run of their own to take a six-point lead. They'll inbound it near side as Butler gets it deep in the backcourt. Grand Rapids 9 of 13 from the free throw line for 69%. And it might come down to that as Butler in the backcourt with Brown on him. Butler picks up the dribble on the double team. Inside to White with the finish with the left hand. Yes! Jack White with a high percentage layup finger roll. 119-111. Champagne with a miracle leaner as he bangs it off the window. And a chance to go to the line on the GR foul. Boy, that was a miracle shot. Foul on Camper, third for him. And a chance for Champagne to make it a three-point lead. That one was huge. Falling away from the basket. That one defied physics. So Champagne at the line. Seven of ten on the night for the Blue Coats. They missed just one last night on 11 attempts as that one skirts off. Offensive rebound by Champagne. Well short and white with the rebound with 25 seconds remaining. And now Delaware will foul in the backcourt. And Grand Rapids, who did not shoot the free throws well last night, with a chance to secure this victory at the line. 74% on the season for Grand Rapids in the mid-pack of the G League 30 teams. Just 63% in their last three games, but a chance with Jared Butler at the line. So 24.1 seconds remaining. And uh, they thought it was a shooting foul, but looking up at the team fouls, the Blue Coast just four team fouls, so that will not send Grand Rapids to the free throw line. So Delaware... Maybe wish they had. They've got one more foul they can give. So the next Delaware foul will have both teams in the bonus. Butler in the backcourt. Gets it over to Randall over the timeline with McCaw on him. And now the swat away. Steal by McCaw. Step back. Three ball. Shot rejected by Randall. Offensive rebound. Skip pass out to Key. He misses the three and White with the rebound. Check that. Grant Golden with a rebound. Two seconds, one second, and Grand Rapids pulls out the victory and takes this one 